Oh boy, guys. Welcome to another fragrance moment, and we're going to talk about Bordesel the Victorious, um, an elite fragrance line that I just simply, simply love. But sadly, I know many of you guys aren't going to check it out because one, it's not readily available. Two, the price point is woo. Let's start out with this one right here. Probably um, one of the most unique takes on an oud. This one is Namir. Um, it's like a tiger wood fragrance and the oud fragrance, guys. Very masculine, very wearable. Uh, great conversation starter. And honestly, I think one that a lot of you guys can get your hands on. This one out of all of them, I think is probably the uh, best on your wallet. Uh, and one that I think is incredible. The presentation on these bottles dipped in 24 karat gold. I mean, this just stuff is, this stuff is next level. Um, now, sadly, I had to go all the way over to Harrods to get it because my local, sadly, I had to go all the way over to Harrods. Sadly, I had to go all the way over to Harrods to get it because my local Neiman Marcus was out of these things. This one right here, uh, Almas. You guys know I love Rose. Oud. This has rose, oud, and pineapple. Fan, <laughs> fantastic fragrance to wear. Um, I would love to do a standalone review on all of these, but again, fragrances that a lot of guys I just don't simply think are going to buy uh, or that are out of the price point, I think it's just kind of a waste of time. And I don't want to come across capping, honestly. But guys, all of these are great and this even if you had five mls of it that would be enough for several good solid wings almas is incredible as well now we're going to get to an order of them people talk about them this is the one people talk about most of all blue sapphire a rose oud beast mode of a fragrance you're talking about 12 16, maybe even 24 hours on this fragrance. This stuff lasts forever. Uh, it is everything you want in a high-end luxe fragrance. Classy, sophisticated, elegant, uh, breathtaking, it masculine, it captivates, women dig it. Guys are like, man, that all in the bottle? Yeah, for $895 retail, it better be, and it is. Wow. There are plenty of reviews on online on eat on uh there are plenty of reviews on YouTube for this one, man. But blue sapphire masterpiece of a fragrance. Now, let's talk about this one right here. This thing should be against the law. I've talked to uh, Big Beard Business and several other guys about just the sheer amount of compliments and conversations Green Sapphire started. Uh, I'm going to actually put a little webcam or something on me and I'm going to walk around wearing this all day and let you guys see real world how often somebody stopped me. The last time I wore this, every place I stopped, Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, this store, that store, people asked me what I was wearing. I even had somebody walk past me, come back in and say, hey man, uh, what's the name of that fragrance you're wearing? Green Sapphire. Going into suit supply. I'm Jesus. This is easily one of the most complimented fragrances I've ever owned. And that's saying something. Uh, just, <laughs> wow. I'm amazed that it had to get more love uh, because that with so many rock stars on the line, I think it gets kind of shuffled into the background, but this is actually the one that gets me the most conversation. Uh, and then we get to the big daddy of them all, Valiant. The most expensive of the fragrances of the, in the house and for good reason. <laughs> I've, I've described this, if you've ever known what an orange popsicle and vanilla ice cream, separately they're good, but you put them together and you have a dream sickle. This is a dream sickle-like experience. Ah, floral, sweet, citrus, but not overly feminine. And every time I wear this, I just feel like, yeah. Because one, it's like $1,200 a bottle. Insane. But the reactions, the conversations, the compliments, 
everything uh, make me glad to have this one in my collection. Valiant, for those who know, they know this is the stuff. So do me a favor, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know which fragrances do you like from the house of Bodicea the Victorious. I know some people like uh, Empire. I'm going to grab Rose Sapphire myself. Uh, let us know. What do you rock? What do you wear? Uh, would you recommend it to other people? Uh, price point aside or whatever. Glad I have these particular Lux fragrances in my collection. Let us know what you like because inquiring minds would like to know. Until the next time, your godfather is out.